It's so hot! Help me! I'm so sorry, Shuto. This would have never happened if you weren't home. I bet you would have looked beautiful in your wedding dress, sis. About that. I don't want you to come to my wedding, Shuto. Dad, Mom, thank you for raising me. I'm glad I was able to get married while surrounded by the people that I love. Our family went through a tragedy about a decade ago. My beloved brother, Shuto, passed away in a fire. But I'm sure he's looking down on all of us from heaven. I see you. I'm looking up at you guys from hell. Don't forget about me! What the hell? Whoa, what are you doing? Why don't you look surprised? You know how many scandals I've seen and had to deal with? This stuff doesn't scare me at all. But I'm a zombie. Those things have nothing to do with me, but I still wanted to scare you. But why do you have a mask on like that? I bought it for a Halloween party that's happening next week. But you already have a costume. If you go outside without wearing anything, people will think you're dressed as a robot. Really? I feel like it's missing something. Besides, you're a robot. You can't die, so you can't turn into a zombie. If you want to be a zombie, maybe I'll rust you up. Hey, please don't do that. Fine, I'll take this off. You can have the mask. Good. I'm glad you understand, but I missed this mask. You missed it. Have you dressed up as a zombie before? Well, it kind of reminds me of my childhood friend. The zombie mask? Yeah. When I was a kid, I used to live next to this boy called Shuto. But from what I heard, something happened when he was five. That day, he was sleeping tight in his bed while his parents were away. He was staying home with his sister, who was 12 at the time, but that's when the stove caught on fire and the house started burning down. The sister managed to escape, but... It's hot! Help! Shuto wasn't so lucky. He was found in the wreckage and he was taken away by an ambulance. He survived, but he had burns everywhere on his body. He went through surgery about a couple dozen times so he can get his skin repaired. But his fingers disappeared, nose and eyelids gone. Even his ear burned away in the fire. Shuto, I'm so sorry. This would have never happened if we were home. The parents blamed themselves, but it was later discovered that the reason the stove lit on fire was because Shuto's sister was smoking and didn't distinguish it properly before throwing it away. And she was afraid that someone would find out, so she ran as soon as she could from the collapsing building. That's terrible. Yeah, it definitely sucks, but I'm glad he survived. But wasn't he bullied at school after he got those burns? Actually, no. What? I was in the same school as him up until we graduated high school, but he was always surrounded by friends. So he was popular, huh? That's right. His bright and energetic personality naturally attracted a lot of people. He's the complete opposite of you. You can say that again. You know, because I'm unfriendly and... Wait, what the hell? <laughs> but you admitted it. Anyways, Shuto was a very bright person and I wanted to be like him. He's kind of scaring me. Don't worry about them, Shuto. You can stare at my face. I mean, when do you ever get to see someone like this? I would stare at someone if they look like this as well. But, but... Call me Zombie. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, nice to meet you. No one will ever have a problem recognizing my face. Man, you're so optimistic, Shuto. You guys are the only ones who haven't decided what to do at the school festival yet. What? Just do whatever. I don't really care. I have a good idea. What is it, Zombie? Why don't we make a haunted house? A haunted house? I'll be the ghost. But you're a zombie. You're gonna be a ghost? That's right. I'm gonna scare all of our customers. Here you go with your stupid ideas again. That's a great idea. Yeah, it could work. Nice idea, Zombie. Alright, zombie house it is. Anyone have any other ideas or suggestions? No, we like zombie house idea. I feel like this might touch the nerve of a few parents. But I was the one who came up with it. I don't see a problem with doing this. Well, if you say so, let's go ahead with the zombie house idea. Yay! Uh, are you sure about this zombie? He was super positive and found good even in the worst situations. Everyone envied him. His parents were obviously proud of him, and as I said, he was popular at school as well. But there was one problem. Shoot, I haven't done my math homework. Oh, come on, what are you doing? Oh, that's my sister. Good morning. Hey, sis, let's walk to the station together. D don't come near me. Hey, that's not very nice. Well, I don't blame her. Why would she want to walk next to me? You always call yourself a zombie. How does that not embarrass you? I'd rather die than walk next to you in public. Whoa! It's fine. Don't worry about her, Doc. But Shuto, his sister always avoided interacting with him. I'm pretty sure that it was partly because she felt bad for what she did and blamed herself for putting Shuto in this situation. But maybe it was wrong. You're finally getting married, huh? Getting married at 23 is a bit early, don't you think? You're just sad because your daughter's getting married. Yep, that's right. What are you gonna do for the wedding? You would look amazing in a wedding dress, sis. About that. 
I don't want you to come to my wedding. What? Why? I would be super embarrassed to have someone that looks like this attend my wedding. You idiot, have you forgotten about who put Shuto in this situation in the first place? And I blamed myself over and over for that. I should be forgiven. But that's not. I told my husband and his family that my brother died in the fire. What? Died? That's right, and I wish you would have just died. You bastard! Knock that out right now or you're going to regret it! Just don't come to my wedding, okay? W wait, your sister really said that to you? Yeah, even I was a little hurt by what she said. And rightfully so! She put you in the situation, but she has the audacity to victimize herself? What a joke. I was sad when I found out why the fire started, but I was still glad that my sister wasn't hurt in the fire. Shuto. I thought my sister would treat me normally if I acted like I'd forgotten about the fire, but I was wrong. My sister wanted me to die, so... Shuto looked really defeated that day. I've never seen him like this. He had tears in his eyes. But this isn't the end of the story. I was his friend, and I was gonna help him. Shuto, you don't want this to end here, do you? Uh-huh? What do you mean? Your sister said that she should be forgiven, right? But she's never even apologized to you. I can't let her continue to live her life like in peace like this. Doc! So we have to think of a plan. A plan to get revenge on your sister. And so Shuto and I came up with a plan to get revenge on his sister. How about I act like a zombie and I get revenge? Like a zombie? That's right, here's my idea. That's an amazing idea. I'll help out as much as possible. Thanks, then it's decided. His sister's fiance came from a very affluent background, so she desperately wanted to be liked by her in-laws. I see, so she was a gold digger too, huh? That's right. But that's not a good excuse for acting like your own brother was already dead. That's right, so him and I decided to get revenge in the most epic way possible. Alright, let's hear the story. I'm so glad Shuto isn't coming to my wedding today. Are you going to keep on lying to your husband even after you get married? That's right, he's basically dead to me already, so... You bastard! And if you guys keep your mouth shut, there's no way he'll find out. But if you're going to make us not talk about our own son, that's cruel. So you want to jeopardize my entire marriage over this? You know what I had to go through to get engaged with this man? Besides, he should have actually died that day. It's his fault that he survived. Alright, now Miss Yuki has a letter addressed to her parents that she wants to read out loud. Dad, Mom, thank you for raising me. I'm glad I was able to get married while surrounded by the people that I love. Our family went through a tragedy about a decade ago. My beloved brother Shuto passed away in a fire, but I'm sure he's looking down on all of us from heaven. I'm gonna become happy, Shuto. I see you. I'm looking at you guys from hell. Don't forget about me. What? what the hell? What the hell is this? Is this some kind of performance? Well, if it is, it's in terrible taste. Hey everyone, I'm Shuto, the Brad's brother. I'm here to congratulate my sister on her wedding. Uh, wait, is that really your brother? Whisper, 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 whisper. W why are you here? Well, I wanted to celebrate your wedding. Uh, huh? But I thought your brother passed away when he was five. Unfortunately, I'm alive. I was involved in a fire, but I survived. Th this isn't what it seems like. Please hear me out. Want to hear why the fire happened in the first place? A stove caught on fire when your fiance didn't properly throw away the cigarette she was smoking. Mind you, she was 12 at the time. After that, she ran straight for the exit because she was afraid people would find out that she was smoking. That's why I ended up like this. This is all her fault. I is this true? It is. Well, I wasn't there, so I can't say for certain, but you probably know about it, right, Miss Yuki? Those are stone-cold lies! They're completely false! And besides, I've never seen this zombie in my life before. You were the one that turned me into a zombie! S so what? What are you gonna do about it? Is this some kind of prank? Leave me alone! Knock it off! Dad? We are so sorry. This right here is my son, and his story about the fire is all true. We could have stopped your sister, but we didn't. We are to blame as well. Sorry, Shuto. We don't deserve to be your parents. <laughs> don't cry, guys. None of this is your fault. And so with that, it was proven that Yuki's brother was in fact alive. She looked pale as I ever seen anyone, but her fiancé was red hot with anger. I'm so disappointed in you. I can't believe you deceived me. Th this isn't what it seems like. This zombie isn't my brother. I've never met him before. I'm disappointed that you lied to me, but I'm more shocked that you would treat your own brother like that. What? You could have just introduced your brother to me and my family. But then you wouldn't have married me. How does that even make sense? Then... Are you gonna marry me? Of course not. 
See? So my brother's a problem. That's not true. I don't want to marry you because you have the audacity to act like your own brother was dead when he was alive. And by the looks of it, this isn't the first time you've treated him unfairly, right? Yeah, you're right. She always says that she wishes he was dead, and she always calls him names and stuff too. It's terrible. I can't believe she would say that to him when she put him in this situation. Who the hell are you? Stay out of this, you bitch! Is that true, Shuto? I don't want to sabotage my sister's wedding, but it's true. I think she's wished that I was dead from the day I got these scars. Now I understand very well what kind of person you are. I can't start a family with someone who would treat their own brother like this! But, but, he's just an eyesore! And he's always happy and positive even though he looks like a monster out of a movie. And whenever I look at him, I feel bad about what I did. And everyone tells me that I have to support my brother and stuff. But others just despise him for his looks. It's all just too much. If he would have just died that day, none of this would have happened. It's all your fault. My sister was red with anger, and she started sobbing on the spot. Her makeup was all ruined, but I had enough of her rambling. Shut up, you asshole! Uh huh? Duck? You're not the victim here. You did this to Shuto. You! You could have been arrested for starting the fire if you weren't underage. But Shuto was kind enough to act positive because he didn't want to worry you. But you just didn't care, did you? All you care about is yourself, you pathetic little worm. You're gonna have to spend the rest of your life making amends to your brother for this. Y you bastard! I'm sorry, but I'm calling this marriage off. We can talk about the details through our lawyers. No, please, rethink this! You can spend the rest of your life in hell, surrounded by real zombies. And so her marriage was called off by her fiancé. Well, she deserves it. Right? And the wedding was also called off as well. The after party had to be cancelled too, obviously. She had to pay for all the cancellation fees and whatnot. But her parents felt bad about what they did and decided to pay the bills for her. Well, that's no way to teach her a lesson. Shuto's parents are part of the problem too. I agree. But they couldn't forgive her for acting like her brother was dead and... Now they're forcing her to work in a factory that one of their relatives own. And she's being forced to live in a small apartment with no kitchen, no bathtub, and a shared bathroom. She tried running away, but there's cameras everywhere around that building. Her escape plan was foiled, and now she looks like a completely different person after losing most of her weight. Man, she deserves all that, but that's still rough. But she finally finished paying back her debt last year, and now she's a free woman. But she's broken both physically and mentally, so her parents had to take her under their wing. Wait, why would they do that for her? Well, they kind of had to. Shuto asked them to do it for him. What? Shudo asked them to do it. He said that his sister learned her lesson and that he hoped she'll turn her life around. He couldn't ever fully hate his sister, it seems like. Man, he's such a good kid. And what happened to him afterwards? Well, the field of medicine is evolving every day. He got surgery after he became an adult, and his condition had gotten better. That's great news. This is what he looks like now. Well, he's pretty good looking. He says he kind of misses looking like a zombie, though. He's probably the strongest person in the world. Yeah, now he's married to a beautiful wife and is living happily. Well, I'm glad Shudo got a happy ending. He deserves it! He told his wife about his sister though, right? Yeah, and they're also hoping to see his sister change her ways and start a new life. They're all good people. Man, that's such a beautiful story. What an amazing couple. The one thing you can't do is get married, so this hits you hard, doesn't it? It does. Well, you have me. Hi! What you sigh for? No, that was nothing. Anyways, this is the end of this video. We'll see you in the next one. See ya!